B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. The critical factor upon which long-term business and investment decisions that must be based on is political stability. Yeah, my name is Jason. I come from Singapore. Uh, we came from the Singapore Business Federation for a business trip to understand Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Uh, this is my second day, so I think that it's pretty fantastic. Uh, for the first day, we have met a lot of networking. And then today was a very wonderful thing that so we met the DPT uh, Prime Ministers and sharing about the Cambodia growth of the next three years. And I, this time, this afternoon was a very successful, I mean, very good license for tax issue and a, a bank and financial and all kind of things. I think that is a very fruitful uh, session over here. Uh, it was a very different uh, view from uh, before I came. And I came here and I totally have a very uh, different view in Cambodia. I, I believe there's a lot of uh, skies table around coming up from my past few years when I came here. I think there's a lot of a lot of opportunity in all kinds of uh, industry, especially the digital uh, service line, and uh, I believe the property sector also a very good uh, opportunity over in Cambodia. Uh, I think the main important thing is the, uh, the 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 law of business, and I think there is a lot of things to be learned. I don't think that there's a short period that we know everything. So that's the only things that we need to go in deep in, deeper into it, to understand the business. And I think uh, the rest of the thing is culture, about the country culture. I, I believe that the uh, most important thing is stability for the whole entire uh, country because of the, there's a lot of news about Cambodia. But I think uh, every started of the countries, they have something happen. But I believe that is only a small little thing that I think we believe that is, uh, if a business uh, entrepreneur, they were able to look in, for, in in the long term. I believe that it is something that we want to explore and the company that wanted to explore, you know, out of the Singapore, we come into Cambodia to study and we want to come into it and uh, set up a business here. And we also believe that uh, ASEAN, Cambodia is one of the up and coming ones. Well, today they had a very packed uh, event. They started off with a meeting with the DPM and then they had a real estate uh, market briefing, uh, which gave them an idea about how the Cambodian economy is doing through the lens of the real, the real estate market, as well as the stresses that is undergoing. The business seminar earlier was uh, very robust. There was a very good exchange and I think the speakers from their respective subject matter background were able to provide the delegation members with uh, a pretty good understanding about the Cambodian economy, um, the challenges and opportunities in uh, doing business here, as well as the longer term potential uh, that they could start to look out for. Well, I think there are a lot of good things that the, gov the Cambodian government had done over the past few years. Its recovery from COVID or even before the recovery from COVID, how the government were able, was able to rally the people, the government institutions, the civil society together to help combat uh, COVID and to overcome COVID was really a pretty amazing story. I think it's one of the fastest to roll out the vaccination program, the fastest to bring the COVID infection rate down and then to recover from COVID pretty quickly. That was really an amazing story. And not too long ago, you had a very successful ASEAN Sea Games, the uh, Sea Games, that also put Cambodia on the on the world map. Uh, so following that, with the transition to the new government, there's this high expectation and anticipation that more good things will come because the new government comprised of better educated, younger and more progressive-minded policymakers. Cambodia's development journey has been pretty short. Right, from probably around from 98 or some will say maybe a year 2000 until 22, 2022, 
It's only been about 22 to 24 years. But within that 22 to 24 years, Cambodia's economy has really grew by, has really grown by eight times, more than eight times. Um, its economy is actually doing very well right now. What I think will be more important is for Cambodia to be able to bring that message out to the destination uh, countries that they wish to draw investors from. When I came here in 2016, as I shared during the seminar, when Singapore was still grappling with our own e-payment system like Payla, the food delivery, food panda, and so on, in Cambodia, you already had a lot of e-payments uh, platforms, already had a lot of food deliveries, uh, right healing apps, and so on, back in 2016. Today, QR code payment is so commonplace. Right. You hardly, I think most people hardly use cash except for small miscellaneous purchases and uh, such. You can even withdraw cash from uh, ATM machines without a credit card now. So digital economy is the one that will help. They will continue to help Cambodia to leapfrog. Uh, I think there was a recent report that uh, the total e-payment transactions in Cambodia reached 272 billion US dollars in 2022. That's more than nine times your official GDP. So that's something that you cannot underestimate. So I think digital um, innovation technology is something that will continue to help Cambodia. But what's the beauty about Cambodia right now? You not only have political stability from this last election, which was expected anyway, the more important thing beyond political stability is the fact that you now have political continuity. And to those in the business circle, it's music to our ears.